hay fever time in oh, Stuttgart and we are leaving to um, see some tech with Frederik. Frederik is a painter and he will be painting on a church. So this project starts now, but it will happen in September. Up until September we're gonna build things gradually. We're gonna use a pani projector to project on a church. Yes. It's the uh, anniversary of the church, so they, they wanted this gentleman to paint some well, some art on it. Exactly, don't forget to tell them we wanted to do Notre Dame but it burned down. <laughs> so we have to take the second choice. <laughs> We will be uh, visiting Stefan, the guy who owns all those great projectors, and we're gonna, um, well, look at the thing and I'll make him feel comfortable with the technology because I'm developing a instrument for him to play on. So um, let's have a look. Ciao. We're approaching the project in a good way. It's a little technical, but as uh, you, might, you might have seen uh, that vlog about the Pani projectors, this is Pani in Stuttgart. Whenever you need to hire anything uh, concerning Pani, if it's the effect wheels or the lenses, th those lenses, you come to Music Express. I will link them below. Uh, this is not a paid advertisement and uh, we are actually paying for the rent for this, but it's um, such a great place for all these old machines. Well, 18 centimeters. Here we are in Heilfingen and from the only shop in the whole place, um, a pretzel. Oh, delicious. And um, this is it, the church that we're going to map on um, today. Let's try something new. Let's try passive mapping. And this is exactly what happened. I was planning to shoot from over the street, which brings in a lot of problems while it's pretty dangerous to project over a street because you're going to run into problems with the people who drive there and try to be well, not molested by your light. And uh, walking around in a radius around the building, I found this spot. Which is kind of perfect. I mean, I'm not gonna predict on the roof anyway. And um, I can cover almost everything. So that looks fine to me. Let's slap the lens on the sand and do some passive mapping. <laughs> the lens and there's nothing behind. We are now going to glue a piece of glass on that hole and then we're going to put some paper on it so this gentleman here can paint on it. That's gonna be fun. Let's see. What we're building here is called a Camera Obscura. Um, it's actually what people used to do when they took photos in the ancient days. Also called daguerreoscopy. Daguerreography. Daguerreography. Well, he should know, he's an artist. Damn it. Oh, I'm sorry, we are, we are in front of a church. I shouldn't actually swear so much. <laughs> the lightning hasn't come yet. <laughs> It's about to come. <laughs> you get three chances, Philip. You get three chances. Uh, three chances? Yeah. Well, yeah. that's a lot. Then all hell breaks loose. Can, can you see it? Wait, let me. Let me just focus on that for a second. And now you put your lens and your improvised camera obscura 
just where the projector will be when you do your mapping, your actual mapping, because now you will be starting to create your slide. <laughs> Wait a second. I, I took a good picture of you, by the way. That's good. It's not necessary, actually, but I think we'll have it. Okay, I've got that, I've got that. Put a few extra lines in here, but actually it's... Uh, Uh, then you glue a piece of heat-resistant glass, borosilicate glass, uh, onto your drawing. And start tracing your drawing with a non-translucent paint. Just use some simple wall paint to trace the pieces that shouldn't be translucent. So where there shouldn't be any light on your object, just paint it white or, or black or whatever you have that doesn't let any light through. This glass slide, it, when it's finished, goes into one of these slide holders and the slide holder goes in front of the projector and then the optics get in front. These are the screws that hold the optics instead of those bolts that we used in this piece of wood. It doesn't have to be too precise, but keep in mind things get magnified quite a bit. So this is just the blocking for the light. There will be detail and um, yeah, some colors of course and uh, quite some more stuff that we will talk about in part two of this tutorial for Pani projectors. So stay tuned, perhaps subscribe to this channel, and I'll be seeing you next time. Hey.